come to my channel and if you're just into my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me so today's sunday and as you guys know now mickey's sunday's routine i try as much as possible to pull out question asked all through the week and i try to give you an honest reply so let's begin all right we've got a question from oluyemi olukayode please how many months can this cream last um it depends on how you use cream you know sometimes there are customers who ask me oh make if i mix this cream how many weeks or how many months you no 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 we don't you can't do that like for me and um, 400 ml or 500 ml of cream for me last me two weeks yes two weeks and i use my cream morning and night and i used to pack cream i pack it and i use it so i want the cream to balance everywhere you know there are some people who are very misy when it comes to cream <laughs> No, but I don't do that. I pack my maybe because I mix it myself. I guess so. Even when I never used to mix cream myself, I still tend to pack my cream. So people differ. All right, I can't tell you when a particular cream would last because we use creams differently. Okay, so we've got another question from Precious Spark. Now I understand. I have an oily T-bone with a normal skin. Okay, all right, Dims. Anything for epipigmentation on lips in your store? Well, I don't have anything for epipigmentation on lips because it's really rare for you to find them, um, for you to start having spots on your lips, except you're probably, you know, we heard this rumor, but I, I just don't want to assume it is. You know, when a lady probably eats poop or kiss a guy that eats poop, <laughs> you get to start having all this. You shouldn't be having breakouts on your lips. It's really, it's one part of the lips that breakouts do not come. Yeah, you can have on top of the lips, but not on the lips. It's rare to find it. Okay, but I don't have for the lips. Sorry about that. Peggy Echo. Hi, Mickey. Please, is classic white soap good for sensitive skin? Yes, it is. It is. But it depends. You don't have to use uh, your sponge on the face, right? You just, you mask the soap, or like lather the soap, so to say. Lather the soap, then you don't put the soap on your face. You know, some people be like, they'll just use the soap, pour water on it and put the soap on your face. No, you're concentrating too much on it. Lather the soap. So the lather you're getting is what you're massaging on your face. All right. Yeah. So the sensitive skin can use classic whites. Um, Omodo Sola Ola Nino. What cream do you use? I mix my own creams, honey. Okay. Go, go, to go. I mix my base. I mix everything together. Okay, so we have one from Ade Tutu Elizabeth. Okwell, I am first in line today. Always on point, mama. <laughs> you know, that first in line still gets me till today. <laughs> All right, Evangelist Princess, first to watch. Really? And that one said, I'm, I'm first in line. The other one said, first to watch. <laughs> okay, so we got one from Genovera Blessing. Thanks, Mickey. Please, can you make a review on products that can clear red sunburn and red spots on the face? Mm red sunburn it depends on what you're using to get a red sunburn most times i don't know people use some kind of when you use too much hydroquinone you get to have red sunburn taking a red sunburn is not one big of a deal it's not big of a deal to take off red sunburn just normal whitening cream can actually help in taking off sunburn but you don't have to scrub your face when you're taking off your sunburn that's the reddish one you don't need to scrub it because scrubbing it will just you know aggravate it so you don't need to scrub your face just a normal whitening cream that might that contains steroids all right would help in taking off your sunburn and in a normal nice soap you don't have to use a harsh soap you know some some people when they have red reddish face they tend to use papaya don't use anything like papaya rather go for go for something like goat milk classic white will even be nice as the lady said classic white is nice goat milk go for something that will be um like lactose that will really help in you know making that place milder and at the same time lightening those areas all right so we've got one from philomena irek can i rub it on my face as well body oils yes you can rub body oils on your face but now it, de it depends on the body oil you want to rub on your face that is why mo when i use my own body oil like during the weekend now as so today i never rubbed any body cream i never used anybody of any of my body cream i just actually use my body oil so this is what you do I don't know the base of your oil, but my base is argan oil. All right, argan oil is ranging from zero to two, so you can use argan oil on your face. My second um, oil adding that I added into the argan oil, the nourishing oil, I use evening primers because I have an acne-prone skin, and my finishing oil 
this time i used orange oil i didn't use lavender oil because the lavender oil i had had um, a different color and i didn't just want it to start going below the oil and all that so i used orange oil now using those combination i cannot use it on my face because orange oil will irritate my face okay but if you use those combination and you probably use maybe lavender or chamomile oil you can use it on your face it's nice all right there are oils that can be used on the body and on the face they are not heavy oils heavy oils are oils like avocado oil is heavy um almond oil is heavy you should not be found using almond oil on your face um coconut oil don't be found using it on your face it's heavy all right the only time you can use almond oil on the face is probably when you're trying to take off breakouts then it penetrates really deep all right okay so let's shoot okay we got one for monica bassi ah she's my namesake monica hi monica hi mickey please kindly do a review on extreme glue cream and oil and do you sell it um okay for you i will um, for extreme glow cream you know all this glowing glowing you know we have diamond glow we have extreme glow we have a uh, pure glow i think i used pure glow that thing was <laughs> like chemical and red but extreme glow people have given good reviews about extreme glow but i don't know of extreme glow of now extreme glow nick banyi then extreme glow was nice you know it used to brighten so many and nobody complained about stretch marks but i hope you get the original extreme glow it's nice all right it's nice if you want to go for extreme glow it's a bit expensive it's a bit pricey but not as pricey as pure glow and diamond glow but it's still pricey but it's a nice cream people have given good reviews about extreme glow and people still use it most ladies i know that still mix these creams all these women that don't mix their creams themselves they go and buy and use what is on store you know mixing a pro mixing is different from when you probably go and buy already made products like extreme glue the oil and everything it's different from when you're pushing in different tubes that you're concocting yourself okay so most people still use it and it's nice i know of a lady who uses it and she's really really having a nice skin but not as fair as misha but she's having a nice skin <laughs> okay so um miriam prera hello mickey got a new subscriber and i must say you are you are a genius am i hmm when it comes to skincare and i like the fact okay you're a genius when it comes to skincare that i don't think that's true and i like the fact that you keep it real all your videos are very informative keep up the good work thank you very much but i am not a genius i'm still learning you know most times when people are like mickey you're a guru you're this i don't i don't take the credits i'm still thriving i still want to go for another training so i'm thriving thriving hard to to be good all right but a genius no i'm not i just make a lot of research and i you know i don't discriminate that ah because i'm a youtuber i shouldn't try and listen to other youtubers i do i try as much as possible no matter how even the vocabulary is not so good and all that i still try as much as possible to listen to some youtubers you don't know the information they might really have to pass out all right so haps beauty can this be used on the face please can what be used on the face base cream if the base cream is not heavy you can use it on the face but if the base cream is heavy that contains so many ingredients don't use that on the face the face does not need too much bubble to go i don't know some people have not really noticed one thing about this the face you don't need too much ingredients in order for your face to be really nice just little goes a long way for the face but for the body yes you can you can mix all the old tube you want to mix pop, 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 and all the rest but for the face even just one tube can even burn your face right so you just have to know the exact proportion to mix for the base cream if the base cream is not heavy you can use it on the face but if the base cream is heavy i would say you should actually dilute it dilute it probably with some natural oils that you know goes well with the face so in order to make it a bit thin loosen it up okay so we got one from dm skin solution it's very effective but can destroy the skin if not used wisely yes that's pimento she's talking about yes it is I, I a customer showed me her hands that she was using to take off her knuckles and wow you know some people will just go and do things themselves without even consulting people it's so sad you know she was trying to take off her knuckles and before you know it was even worse her hand was white but this side was it was nothing to write home about and this was caused by pimendo i don't know who told her to use pimendo on that area i don't know who told her to do that 
All right, so we got one from Sylvia Beck. Please write the names clearly because we can't see the names. I'm so sorry. Um, there's one that is, I think I called the names. I will try and go back to the video and I'll write the names. All right. I'm not saying it's a must you must buy from me. You know, I'm not really all about don't do any No, 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 no. I don't do that. It's, it's a review. So one is um, pure, pure hell you. Yes, I'll try and put the name today. I'm so sorry about not putting the name. And another one is Rapid Day Seven Joes. All right. Rapid Day Seven. The one in the bottle is Rapid Day Seven Joes. And the other one in a plastic with a white container is Pure Eel. All right. Pure L U. Yeah. All right. But I'll try and put the name today. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. So I'm um, Abimbola Omilabu. Thanks for the good work. Can I buy it on your website? What's the price? Good video and have a blessed weekend. Um, the price on my website. You can go to mikiskinke.ng. It's going to be on the screen, so you can go check it out. Um, Ellen Mwobweke. Please help me spell the name of the first oil man. I will put it on the description box today. All right. I'm sorry I did not do it the last time. Gladys Modio. Mickey, please, can you write the name clearly? Because I, can, I will write the name clearly today. How long can one use fungicide? Um, first off, when you get the fungicide, it's advised for you to use the fungicide. That's fungicide natural light, not fungicide no cool water. I wrote fungicide no cool water because it was going to be easy for me to understand what I was writing. But the name is fungicide natural light. And you, you are meant to use it three times in a week in order for you to get the effect. Now, there are some customers who made some mistake without even consulting me. Do not scrub your hands when you're using, or your legs, when you're using fungicide natural light. It's not needed because it tends to exfoliate the hand and the leg at the same time. So don't scrub because if you scrub, you get to notice pains and it hurts your, your legs or your hands. Don't scrub. The fungicide natural light is, is also a scrub on its own. It doesn't contain granules, but... It tends to exfoliate. You no, know? imagine putting your hands in a warm water, a water you've probably boiled. You had to wait for it to calm down. Then you put your legs or your hands in the water for ten minutes, taking it out, and your your scrub, your your you're taking out the dirt. What is that? You're scrubbing already now. You're already taking out the the particles. That is what we do to scrubbing. Pour water on your body and you scrub. It's the same thing. So I wonder why some people will scrub before putting it. Don't do that, please. Eh? You will notice that you feel pains around those areas. Please and please. And you're meant to use it three times in a week. Okay? It's, when you use it three times in a week, you will notice the progress. And people were always rushing. Ah, I want, I want it to be fast. No, no, no. When it comes to something that goes gradual, it's better to be gradual than something that moves fast. Reason be that something that goes fast, in the end, it tends to damage. It tends to damage the skin. I'm being honest with you. Something that is always so rapid. But something that goes, you know, slow and steady. Because in the long run, you'll be able to, you know, how would I put the grammar? You'll be able to curb its effects rather than something that is so fast. Okay? I'm just telling you so you don't get to, because a customer was like, oh, um, she used the fungicide, it's working. And she doesn't even have a light skin like me. She's like, I would say chocolate skin. She's not fair. She's not fair. And the thing was blending her skin. And she was like, I want it to be very fast. I want it to be very fast. I would probably go for the, your, your, your knuckle set. I told her my knuckle set contains peeling. And I would not advise you to peel. Because if you peel, peeling would differentiate your skin. If you're peeling, you're taking off the upper layer. The ones that are below are the lighter part. And that leg will be lighter than your, the, the feet will be lighter than your leg. How would it look like? It doesn't make sense. So... Please and um, please, mm, don't be in a hurry to get to a destination. Slow and steady, especially when it comes to creams. Even injection self is slow and steady. It's not at once that you inject yourself that you, you notice whitening. It's not at once now. All right, so how long can one use the fungus? I don't know how long you can, but one bottle, it depends on your knuckles now. One bottle should do it for you. One bottle should do it for you. So we have a Muchinako Karima. I love you so much, Miki. Is it okay if I can use Clinicle oil and hydrogen peroxide as my knuckle cleanser? Hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, most people would actually do use uh, hydrogen peroxide, but uh, not Clinicle oil. You can't use Clinicle to dissolve it. Most time we use vegetable glycerin to dissolve it, not Clinicle oil. Okay. 
But some people will still tell you that with vegetable glycerin, it's they are not feeling the effect. It's not pinching their body. It's not pinching their leg. But I've not seen someone use clinic clear oil to to take off a uh, knuckle. I've not seen it. But uh, you could try it. It's not bad. Akudo Ella. Hello, Mickey Skincare. What is the preservative in this whitening body butter? How long can it last? Will it always be stored in the refrigerator while using it? Or can it be kept like other cream? It can be kept like other cream. It can be stored in the refrigerator. And when you keep it in the refrigerator, it shouldn't be in a freezer. It should be in lower heat in the refrigerator. Not hot, but uh, not too cold. And also preservative. You can use Jamal Plus. You can use Phenonip. You can use Optifine Plus. Any preservative you want to use. Um, and... Uh, how long can it last? Now, how long can it last depends on how you use the cream. All right. I can't answer that. It's how you tend to use your cream that will tell, that will actually determine how long it will last. We have one from Gloria Cheesy. I love your video. Nice one. Thank you, Sugar. Um, Sika Cute. Is AHA serum, Afabutin serum, and Kenako serum also steroids? AHA serum is not steroids. Afabutin serum is not steroids kenako serum that's a belly class kenako mm, contains some whitening things all right and causes green vein for some skin for some skin they'll tell you it doesn't cause green veins so it just contains some whitening additives so i would say <laughs> okay all right so for blessing ungozi mickey skincare i know you didn't add it there but you have done review on both products i've been following your channel I'm just asking just to know if it's going to burn or cause reactions, etc. Okay, I think I have... I, I, let me just play the video. I, I can't see all... Um, Hello guys, it's Mickey. Welcome so that's the way I channel. call my name. It's Mickey! Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Okay, so we're trying to get... Um, we're trying to get a, a message from a lady called Ngozi something something something. I'm sorry about delaying the video. I cannot see the first uh, message you sent. Okay. Okay. If I can't see it, we'll move on anyway. So. I can't see the video. I mean the messages. I can't see them, so I'm sorry, Ngozi. I could not finish your message. So, um, bless you, Ngozi. I could not finish your message. But I don't know which cream you're talking about that you want to be sure if it's gonna cause uh, burn or cause reaction. I don't know. Um, hi, please. Can I mix just a little pimento to glutasy face cream? Okay, now I can see the message. Can I mix um pimento to glutasy face cream? Um, pimento what? The serum on your face to glutasy face cream. I would not advise that though. I would not advise it. Okay, yeah, pimento lightens, but uh, it tends to cause this redness. Most times, when even we, when we tend to use the, the cleanser on the face, we just use it only at night. Not, a, not something you use on a regular basis, only at night. And there are sometimes you just don't use it. So that it doesn't make your face red or splotchy. Okay. All right. So we have one from Lilian Oluchi. Please, how can I get your base cream? Because most of the creams I use cause white dots on my leg. And can I have your contact? 0818-541-7558. All right. Most times it might not be the base that is causing the white dots. It might be the oils. It might be the tubes that you're adding into it. Because tubes also... Might be the tubes it might not be the base to be to be precise it might be tubes it might be oils you know there are some oils that you just add to with concussion and the rest and you might notice white dots on your legs okay so but most times it's always the base yeah it is um sika cute let's continue <laughs> sean k make his skincare okay thanks i will I react to Macari carrot lotion and its glycerin, the orange one. And most times, it's not only Macari glycerin people react to. Even Kiwi Eye people react to Kiwi Eye glycerin. Most times, those things causes white dots. I don't know why those glycerin of a thing causes white. Most people have complained about it. Most people, that uh, Kiwi Eye glycerin, whitening glycerin, 
they've complained and it's not just only qi whitening glycerin now you're complaining about macari whitening glycerin most people have complained about it I, anyways um sean k thanks but i react to anything that has carrot in in fact it aids in me having white that's not true all carrot does not give that it's just the whitening glycerin that you're noticing that gives and you're not the first person complaining about it carrot oil doesn't give white dot you run it most times even carrot oil we use it for kids we use it in mixing their creams so carrot oil doesn't give white dots okay mm. destiny adam your natural hair is lovely suits you most can't wait for more videos of you well today is not my natural hair today is a a hair that looks like a natural hair that i just had to stretch out <laughs> okay Crystal Wiles or Will or Willies. I, I hope I called it well, Sha. Why are you using this on your beautiful melanin? Aren't you afraid of skin cancers, kidney malfunction? You will cause inflammation of the skin and ligaments. Good luck on your journey. Some people are just not educated enough. They are not enlightened. You know, most times before you talk, eh, try and do research. She's talking about glutathione injection. That injection has been certified by medical doctors to be to be really really good on the body the only time it's not good is when it's expired and the side effect is what we are abusing in africa the whitening is the side effect it doesn't have any other side effects no other side effect apart from whitening okay people might say you might notice drowsiness dizziness when you're probably using a glutar push when it's you're having it in higher dosage but that doesn't mean it will still have a malfunction in your kidney every human being has glutathione and taking more glutathione in your skin cells is not bad it's actually really really nice and it's advice to take it and i've taken the pills and i've not noticed any kidney malfunction see and things so so honey say something else try and enlighten yourself try and be enlightened some people just talk i just want to talk in shall sorrow let me just comment and there are some comments that are just so gullible so to say like this one now is very gullible because if you are taking your time to research read about not even go, go to gossip blogs or columns read journals you know written by doctors and all that you would notice that glutathione injection is really really good if it's not good by now they should have scrapped it even in the u.s they would have scrapped it and i notice i tend to send most of all these things outside nigeria if you're sending it out of nigeria i'm sending sometimes i send it to canada u.s norway sweden most times they will ask for doctor's prescription. Siko Bada, I know Canada. Canada is a no-nonsense country for drugs. Lie, lie. Their doctors are highly certified. If it's not good, Canada would not let that drugs in. So they would need a doctor affirmation before it goes in. So honey, do a lot of background checks before you see anything. All right, let's shoot. Um, the freak show. Fake. Okay, what is fake? She's saying... um. What is this? The name of this thing again? Japan plat. Ja Japan platinum is not fake, except you bought the fake one. It's not fake. There are some people that will tell you that they've used Japan platinum. They, you know the funniest thing about some of my customers? They are so funny. Some of them will not buy from me. Only God knows where they went to buy from. Mickey, I used the Glen. I used the Japan platinum. It did not work. Oh, you shouldn't be complaining to me. Complain to the person you bought it from because that is how business is done. If I should buy bread from Madam A, I cannot go and complain to Madam B that advised me to buy bread and I did not buy for Madam B. Does it make sense? It's stupid now. You know, some of them will not ask me, okay, I bought Japan Platinum. I used, and some of them will be so gullible enough to even still call you after they bought it from someone else. Eh, hey, Mickey, eh, uh, how would I use this Japan Platinum? The person you bought it from did not tell you how to use it because if you're buying from someone, I feel the person, if I'm selling a particular product, I should have information of what I'm selling. If I'm buying, I'm buying goods from you, I don't have information of it, then why should I be selling it? That is just the truth. You will go and buy the injection from someone else and you'll be asking another person how to use it. It's, it's very dumb. It's dumb. You don't do business. That Most times, I, even, I like myself. I'll just tell you, did you buy from me? So why are you bothering me? You should not bother me. So people will be like, hey, Mickey, it's, your job. it's not my job because you bought it from someone else. If you had bought it from me, fine. All right, and whatever I've discussed on YouTube stays on YouTube. You shouldn't be calling me if you don't buy the goods for me and telling me, hey, Mickey, I bought the thing from someone. And can you tell me how many days I'm supposed to use it? Can you tell me when I'm supposed to start seeing if are you kidding me? You shouldn't do that to me. 
No, it's not advisable. It's business. Don't do it. Okay? So people, they, they dish out what they cannot take. And now this lady is saying, only God knows when she has gone to buy rubbish. Sometimes they will not ask, they, they will go and buy somewhere else. For them, for them to just say, I make it, maybe Mickey's own is, is expensive, very expensive. This one is cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap. Most of them will not know what to buy. Just like a lady that went to go and buy, I don't even know the glutathione injection she went to buy. I don't know who advised her. She said uh, it was this, someone in the market that advised her to buy it, that it was 25000 Okay, she bought three. She was using and using and using. Ah, Mickey, I did not see any effect though. I did not see this. And I said, ma, you cannot complain to me. Did I ask you to buy it? Did you tell me when you were going to buy this injection? I don't even know the one you went to buy. She could not say anything again. Saying, oh, Tony, sha. And it was because your own was a bit expensive now. So I went to buy it myself. I said, ask the person you bought it from eh, to explain how to use it. Let that person explain to you. You shouldn't be calling me and asking me, you rajalo me. Why am I being paid? Why am I saying lo? Ah ah, ha! Oh girl, some of you women eh, bagam. <laughs> you will kill somebody. Now let's continue. But uh, freak show, it's not fake, okay? Maybe you got the nasty one. And besides, if you want to use it, there are different ways to use it, and there are different skin. You know, there are some people that when they use uh, this uh, glutathione injection, some of them break out. Some skins don't break out. And if you notice, you are the kind of person that has a tough skin. It's recommended for you to use the injection like twice or three times in a week. And there, there is a way, there, there, there is a thing you should know that you need to take more of the, the ascorbic acid, that vitamin C. You need more vitamin C in your bloodstream. Now, there are some skin that don't take vitamin C. Someone like my own skin type, sensitive. If I take anything with vitamin C, you can see my glutathione pills. I, I, I use Gluta Frozen. I use uh, this... Um, I think I showed you the pill I was using. This 25,000 Naira pill. What's the name again? Oh. Glutha White. And I use uh, my collagen. I don't use vitamin C because it breaks me out. I've tried it and I notice I tend to break out. So I don't use vitamin C. But you and I know vitamin C triggers the whitening in order for it to move faster. Okay? And some people say, Ah, Mickey, I I've sold this injection to people that are white. As that I'm speaking, as I'm speaking right now, and it was just one capsule, just one pack, and they are white. No be said and say, no be said and say. All right. So I don't know where you got yours, and you cannot complain. So make it good one. <laughs> All right. So where be beauty? Make it skincare. Thanks. We we'll check your website asap. All right. Where be beauty? Why dots are very hard to treat? They are very hard to treat when, because um, this is it. Mm -hmm. They are just like when you apply cream on your body. What will you do? You wait for a while. Patience now. So after applying your normal body cream on your body, you get your oil. You apply the oil. Morning and night. While I'm running, you will massage. I remember when I had white dots. Then I think I showed you guys. You know, when after using my body cream, I will still apply the oil. I don't miss it. If my leg is dry, I will still apply that oil till it left. And gradually, gradually to be fading off. You notice it's fading off. You don't have to be in a hurry with white dots. If you have white dots, use a long... Uh, clothes anyways I, I don't wear short short things so for people that like wearing mini skirt scrap your mini skirt for now all right if you're wearing trousers and all that things just to cover it up till when it fades off elizabeth jago please ma send the names of the products to me and how i can get it thanks i will put it on the description box today um prestige tdrd Lovely video, Mickey. You look awesome. Thanks for the video. Thank you, honey. Prija NV. I hope I called it well. So I think it should be like India or something. How to create goat milk so base. Please help tell me. Tell you what? How to create goat milk so base. It's so easy. I don't even need to teach you. You could just you know type it on um YouTube. You no, know? how to create goat milk so base. Just type it on YouTube. Choo, 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 choo. All right, but you're just going to be making it from the scratch. That's lie. You're going to be using lie. So if you're using lye to make your goat milk soap base, you have to wait for three to six months in order for you to use the soap. Okay, for people who probably produce soap themselves, they have to make the soap on time before they start selling. Okay? Like, I had to make my own soap on time. Like, I did it like four to five months back before I'm now using it now. On my face, you can see. So, we've got one from Deems. What do I use for genetic dark spots on lips? Uh, 
I have not seen that. I would like to see the picture of the genetic dark spots on lips. I would love to. I mean, a lady also complained about the same thing that she has a breakout on her lips. I've not really seen it before. Uh, Morganesi, the melted oil and wax and the same temperature as the water. Or is everything totally cold? I'm just asking because I see you pouring water in your pot containing hot liquids. Um, in making your cream from the scratch, honey, if you're probably using emulsifying wax, because you and I know you cannot pour water into beeswax, it will become so gunky. So if you're trying to pour water into your um, emulsifying wax, once you're done double boiling it, you get to bring it out. The water shouldn't be cold. The water should be warm. All right. And don't, there's a certain degree where your um, emulsifying wax would get hot, like approximately 40 degrees is all right. And again, if you pour it inside the wax, and you want to start whisking make sure to get a cold layer more like um, a bowl filled with ice then you put your um mixture on top of it and you start whisking so that on to easily start forming on time that's most mistakes that people make when they notice their stores don't form on time okay so we've got one from blessing ungozi please what about dove soap do you also recommend it dove soap is nice it's mild on the face i mean yes it is i've used the dove soap, the dove soap before it's nice our star rage i've been watching you on youtube you never list your product or additive on description board remember this is for the world not just ninja only <laughs> i'm sorry all right i just feel it's a bit stressful it's a bit stressful i'm going to tell you start listing and all that but i think i will try and do that and again it's another advantage for people to just watch the video because i notice some people just go to the description box one new video here how come i lost the description box my, my, my type in Coco, they'll just go, go straight and start writing they won't want to listen and hope you know that writing the recipe is different from when you listen to me my own kind of learning is when i listen it's better i grasp things rather than just you know put seeing the list and writing because i won't even know what the list is about but most people are on budget. They'll just go to the description box, just so right. They won't listen to the video. We don't do that. That's why I'm taking my time not to write it so you will listen and watch the video. Okay, so someone sent me a message in French. Oh, yeah, there's something you should know. I'm sorry. I don't understand French. Rita Fambule. Thank you so much, Miki, for the video. I got your name from Candy Love on YouTube. I'm one of our subscribers. Well, thank you, Candy Love, for, for actually recommending people to me. She's a really nice lady. You know, I spoke to, I spoke to her for some, like a few days. I was thinking of me and her having a collab one, but she's a very busy person. You know, I guess this business, we are all busy. But she's a very nice lady. Very, very nice. Warm, accommodating, even with the fact that, you know, she's out. There are some people that will be out of the country, some customers. They'll just give you a headache just because they're outside the country. But she's, you no, know, she's really nice. Really, really nice. So thank you very much, Candy Love. Thank you. All right. So um, we've got one for Nom Zamo. Ah, this name is something else. Let me just stick to Nom Zamo. Don't embarrass me with, <laughs> with your name, but I like it. It's unique. I've not heard it before. Hi, Miki. I love your content. Where do you get your powder from? I've searched online and found nothing. Um, it depends on the powder you're talking about. Because where I get my powders from are from different locations too. My Fabutine is from a different location. My Glutathione is from a different location. And I buy it from people who sell original. My uh, Giga White, because Sepi White, getting Sepi White original, it's a problem in Nigeria. Getting the original is a problem. So I, I rather don't buy Sepi White. But I buy Giga White. I know where to get the original. So they are from different people that I buy from, different wholesalers. They are not all the same. All right. T.I.N. Queer. Hi, Mickey. I don't understand when you said that you will not recommend you will not recommend what you chatted with me though messenger can you please explain to me better um this is it I'm, I'm i'm not scared of expressing myself you guys know now mickey likes to express herself um i mix creams i sell creams and um i sell skincare products as you guys know so walking up to me and telling me to recommend a cream for you it's not going to be possible one i don't know your skin type two um i can't start giving if i start recommending creams for you most times i used to do it before where I would recommend to people, people will go and buy some one malo rambo me. They won't even buy from you. After they mix it, they will not come back. Eh, that cream, it uh, it made me light on the upper part. My leg was not really light because you did not buy from me. You did not know the scrub to use. You did not know the shower gel because 
all shower gels they react differently on the skin and there is a particular shower gel to you you know i said it before there's a particular shower gel to use just like when you're using a cream that contains high dose of steroids i don't advise you to use a shower gel that is uh, containing too much additive like my shower gel i know my cream contains too much steroids i decided to limit it to just carrot glow shower gel Oton. i did not add any additive into it but you see some people because they want to be white the scrub they will activate the scrub they will activate the shower gel activate the cream activate this no 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 you don't bleach like that you bleach with sense if you want to bleach if if your cream is with enough steroids leave the cream with steroids let the scrub be sharp the scrub if the scrub is sharp it doesn't contain whitening additive but it's a sharp scrub it will even make the cream penetrate better the soap should not be harsh that way you even get what you want quickly some of them they'll go and buy somewhere else after telling them what to buy you go and buy somewhere else so i don't recommend to people and i'm still saying it openly i don't recommend cream if you are buying a particular cream or i'm mixing cream for you that's a different thing but you saying and hey, make it tell me list out what i should buy or buy it from your website i cannot do it to really show because in the end you will not buy so that is just it for me all right so we got one for Masha nabanoba I have gold brown cream. Can I mix it with whitening oil like pigment for brown skin? And if you know how the quantity of pigment to mix it with, fine. Dorothy Alex, my dear, I am new here. You're welcome. I'm Genovera Blessing. Nice one, Mickey. Can you drop the name of your website, please? Um, that's uh, MickeySkinCare.ng. Okay, MickeySkinCare.ng. Um, Aziz Odunola. I will do a la. I think so. I say I will do no la. I do a la. Make you load do. Really, I'm learning something here, lady. You are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dandy Esther, I would like to place order. How do I go about it? You go on my website, makeyskincare.ng. Just go on my website and just place the order. Dovig, you are intelligent, mama. First time coming here. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, Princess Tara Didi. Can you please buy all the things for me? All these things for me. Okay, and you mix it yourself. Fine. But still, some people still find it difficult to mix. Even after giving them the ingredient. Like, Mickey, I messed up. I didn't mix it well. <laughs> all right. Or like Pedro Adesino. Can this scrub be used on the face? It's a bleaching scrub. I think I answered this question the last time. So we're done. It's a bleaching scrub. So yes, it's a scrub that helps him for bleached skin. It's ca it can be used on the face. But the thing is, it smells so bad. You know, because it contains Himalayan salt, the black salt. So those things, you know, enhances the smell. Lico rice. Ah. That scrub, if you want to use that scrub, make sure you are not with your boyfriend that day. Because mm, that day won't be nice. Mm. You know, from the toilet, you'll be perceiving a very conk smell. But it is really nice on the body. That's the funniest thing. This scrub is really, really nice on the skin. Alright, so I know today's video is long because I had to explain some things to some guys, to you guys. Sorry about that. And um, I'll see you guys hopefully this week. Yes, because we need to, you know, interact. I noticed, you know, a, a, a subscriber of mine said something. Said, Mickey, you're beginning to distance yourself from your YouTubers. Hope you know we are your first customers before you started making sales. She was right, you know. She was really right. Now, I, I, overnight, I just thought about it. I was like man lady is so tall it's just the truth no matter how much i work i can't start saying i'm so tired you know i, I noticed on, practically in all my, all my videos i was saying i got i was tired i was this so i don't want to do that my first love should be my first love i should not start diverting and say oh, i'm start making money and start showing showing off uh, something like that so um you'll be seeing more of mickey yes you'll be seeing more of mickey from now onwards it might not be every day but i just hope it's every day so i'll be you know picking up the pace like i should have okay and i love you guys like kilo d and the lady that had to bring me back to check i love you so much all right and i'll see you guys this week bye guys <laughs>